Okay, so I thought I would go ahead and show you um, a little bit also of what else I was making. I made several of the pot pies, one um, for right now, and then we've got several for the freezer. And um, I had some extra supplies <laughs> that I was cooking up, so I decided to also make some quiche. Now, this is also something that my, uh, my boys really, really love. And so I, I like to try and keep some made up for them. They'll be very excited. But I, um, I guess I better find a spoon. Um, I've got my pie crust ready to go. And I, um, I mixed up, okay, I made sausage. I, I cooked up some um, brown sausage. We had, we have got tons of it. And um, we, had a, we had a pig, um, this is last year or maybe a little over a year. He was about 700 pounds, and it was ready to. Get, we were ready to get rid of him, and we we processed him into like his, his entire <laughs> the whole thing was into breakfast sausage. So we have lots of it, and so I try to use it as often as I can because I mean literally I've got like a freezer and a half of breakfast sausage, so I use it as much as I can. Um, I ground up some of that and crumbled it up really good. And then I made, um, this is 18, 12, whatever 18 and 12 is, it's been a long day. <laughs> that many eggs. I scrambled those up, seasoned with salt, just very basic. And then I've got that, and I, I um, peeled up several potatoes, chopped them up into um, little bits, and boiled them. So everything's cooked and ready to go. It's just now mixing it up. I also put a bunch of Colby jack cheese in here and you can use whatever cheese you want but we really like the colby jack this is what we've got right now so all of that mixed up and i'm going to put each individual pie together with different seasoning on this particular one i'm going to use paprika um just mild heat and little color and uh, i'm going to make another one uh, well several looks like <laughs> i'm going to make a few um, with uh, garlic cumin and I forget what, <laughs> what else. Um, I've got a list of them, three different um, seasonings that I'm going to be putting together for kind of a Mexican flavor. And whatever I have left, once I finish the pie crust that I've got, um, I'll probably put into a few um, breakfast burritos and stick them in the freezer. I'd like to try and have those made up. Easy for the boys to get up in the morning, or my husband, to get up in the morning and go in there and thaw themselves out and warm up a breakfast burrito, and then I don't have to get up and make some more breakfast. <laughs> but this is what I'm doing right now. Okay, so got a spoon. And I'm just going to spoon this in. These are so good. And you cook them the same way. It's like 400 degrees, um, 20 to 25 minutes, depending on your oven, of course. And, and just make sure that the when, when it's done, the top looks like it's not wet. Okay. So we've got plenty of filling in there and plenty of this left. Now I'm just going to take some paprika. Actually, yeah, I'll use this for this one. My hands are yucky. And just stick. <laughs> Actually, this may be my that's okay, we love that. Sprinkle a little on the top. I like to do it individually. That way I can make different flavors. You know, I don't have to mix it into the big batch and make one big flavor. I can just do several different. Okay, so that part's ready. Now I'll go ahead and put the crust over the top 
And then I'll just cut it off, pinch the edges, and get it wrapped and ready for the freezer. And then move on.